Nobody seems to understand or say why do we have this explosion of sargassum seaweed in the Caribbean. And I find that fascinating. The largest sink of CO2 in the world is in fact the Earth's oceans. And the interaction between the atmosphere and the sea is a very dynamic one. Um, and my theory is that as CO2 levels are rising, uh, more carbon dioxide is being absorbed in the seawater, which in effect is causing an explosion in the seagrasses that float and grow on the ocean surface. I've been an avid keeper of aquariums over the last 30 years. Um, many years ago, I acquired from Germany a, s a system for pumping CO2 into my aquarium. The effect of this system was dramatic. The plant life would literally explode in a matter of weeks and I would have a huge challenge trying to keep the lesser desirable mosses um, from growing because they would grow on everything that grow on the plants, the side of the aquarium. And that's what I feel is happening here in the Caribbean. If my theory is correct, then this problem isn't going to get better. It's in fact going to get worse. And we can expect to see huge increases in the amount of sargassum weed on the windward coasts of most of the Caribbean beaches. Weed is not just a problem, it's the stench caused by the rotting shellfish and crabs and various other organisms that attach themselves to the weed and as it rolls ashore, the uh, smell of rotting vegetation and animals permeates the entire environment. What is even more worrying is how officials are dealing with this problem. They are simply sending heavy excavation equipment to remove the seagrasses and at the same time are, re are removing huge amounts of sand, thereby effectively destroying the very beaches that make the Caribbean so special. And of course that's just a losing battle. Within weeks of this beach being cleared, the seaweed was back and strong and smelled as awful as it did before. So I would like to test um, my theory. Maybe um, some of you in your scientific laboratories um, can do a little experiment. One aquarium with sargasso weed, sunlight. One aquarium with sargasso weed and pump some CO2 various. Increase the level over time and see what the effect of it is. And I'm sure my theory is going to be borne out. Perhaps we should look at the proposal that Boyan Slat has for the removal of plastic in the oceans. This proposal calls for the erection of large booms strategically placed in areas where there are huge current flows and he can capture plastic. Perhaps we could do the same thing with seaweed around the various islands. Whatever happens, we are running out of time and we need to start putting some creative solutions to the problem. Already we are seeing the destruction of Caribbean beaches, turtle nesting sites. Dave Elliott's film recently released shows that fringing coral reefs on the side, on the windward side of islands, is also being destroyed by the lack of sunlight reaching down to the coral. And we expect that in the near future we will see huge die-off of coral along the shores of the Caribbean islands. Whatever we do, time is running out. And perhaps the most important thing that we can do in the short term is to find out what is causing this explosion in Sargasso. Uh, my theory is correct then the situation will get significantly worse and we will have to develop creative solutions to resolve the problem. Otherwise, Caribbean tourism, certainly on the Windward Coast, um, is over.